Hello, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet, and I'm making this video for Rex out in Arizona. Rex called me, he's interested in this beautiful 1983 Yamaha G5. Yamaha G5 is a six foot six grand piano. It's very similar to the C5, just the plate isn't as heavy because it's not meant for commercial use, which is uh, what you would uh, expect from a conservatory piano. Pounding on it eight hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, that type of piano would hold tune better than, than the G5. They're very, very similar otherwise. They share all the exact same components, same wood, same build quality, just not built to for heavy duty use and abuse. So anyway, this piano we have not done anything to yet. This is in the exact condition that it left its previous owner. It arrived here from Japan. It's actually a pretty good tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the piano a little bit. The camera's going to take a little a uh, uh, panoramic view of the piano and then uh, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Sounds really good the way it is now, except that the bass strings down here are definitely not up to par the way they should be. Now, in many cases, uh, piano technicians would unhitch the strings down at the down at the pins down at the bass end and turn the string or twist it, and that would return the string back to the way it should sound. But that would only last a few months and then go back. It's a common trick that a lot of piano dealers do in order to get the piano out the door and then and then after that they don't care. But here we change out all the strings, they're all brand new, so you get 30 years of, of the piano sounding the way it should sound, but you know, from the point it was new, and then uh, you're not gonna have any problems with tuning. Now uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity also, if the camera will follow me, I want to go into the workshop. We're gonna see all these pianos that we're working on right now. <laughs> I've got 
got a visit from the cameraman. He's filming all our pianos that we're working on. <laughs> That's why I mean she's visiting. She's vis visiting from New York. I just picked her up at the airport. This is Mario, my partner. He's doing all the strings right now. And I just wanted to show basically what's going on in our shop here. Uh, we Right now we have a, a G3, a C7. What is this? Uh, this is a G5. We have a G5. It's very similar to the piano that you're looking at. This one right here. So you can see exactly the way yours is, yours is going to look after we uh, clean it up. This is all brand new bass strings being put in the piano. Uh, this is a G5. Uh, this here is a... We have a, a, a G3 over here, as you can see, when the pianos uh, come in before they get strung. Everything gets cleaned and detailed inside, all the hardware, everything gets taken out, all polished by hand, put back in. You can't do this with a piano that has strings in it. It's impossible. You can't clean and polish a soundboard. This one we actually re-clear coated, put a factory Yamaha decal on, so it looks like it just came from the factory. New felts here. Uh, these are where the dampers go in. They're the damper shelves. Actually, I think they're another name. I can't think of it right now. But the dampers go in here. We clean this. We put all brand new pin bushings in the holes because when the pins go in, these bushings stop dirt from going inside. And so we put new ones in. The A graphs all get polished by hand. All the screws get taken out. They get polished. Uh, all the bridges get new graphite. The edges, the sides, they get cleaned. All new felt gets put in. This is called understring felt. All of that is brand new. So that gives you an idea of uh, the amount of work that we do at each piano before we put the strings in. And as you can see, this is what, what it looks like as we're putting the strings in. Do you need any help with this one here? No, not yet. Are you sure? Yes, I'm not there yet. <laughs> but anyway, so it takes us about, uh, what? It takes you about two days to string a piano? About, yeah. Two days, okay? And it takes a, a regular piano technician about two weeks. Okay, so because we have a lot of secrets in here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.